Okay, let's kick it off. We're gonna start decluttering these primers because I just I want I really want to get rid of some stuff I'm not using. So let's just do it. This Ulta Beauty primer, this mattifying primer, that can go. I, I don't even know if I've ever used that. This Skin to Die For, that can go. That's a little sample that I've had for a long time. I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready to get rid of a lot of this crap. Shouldn't call my makeup crap. What is this? Lightly tinted face moisture. Mineral sunscreen. You know what? I am getting ready to go to the beach. Is this open? Nope, this one's not even open, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to that because I'll probably take that take that to the beach with me. Quench. Don't I have a bigger one? I do. Let's get rid of the mini. Tart C. What? There's another one. Uh that one's not open. Jeez, neither one of them are open, so I'm gonna get rid of that lighter colored one. I'm also going to declutter the Spackle Hydrating from Lara Geller. Don't think I, actually this might be brand new too. Yep, never used. Crazy. All right, what else? I'm pretty sure this is like well expired. I've had it for a long time. Let's get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this ColourPop All-Star. Used it like twice, three times. It just was not a favorite. I didn't care for that at all. This is the Juice Beauty Photo... Phyto? Phyto Pigments? Illuminating Primer? This feels like it's got a lot of product in here. Eh. And it's open. Oh, shit! Did I really just... Like, that was smart. That's going in the trash. This is another primer that I never really got on with very well. The Fenty Beauty. It's a little travel size, but I know it's been open. I'm going to get rid of that one. Here is another one from Elizabeth Mott. I think I got this in like a birch box a long time ago, but it's very silicone based and it's opened trash. Oh man, I'm really, uh, I, I like this. We're getting through some. You know what? I haven't used this one in forever. The Professional Matte, matte Rescue. Yeah, that can go. The Wander Beauty Glotion. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I don't really wear a lot of, like, illuminating primers because I'm oily. Oh, why do I still have this? This is the Becca, what is this called? The Ever Matte? Yeah, I don't care for this. And actually, it's busted at the ends, like it was coming out the top here. Uh, that's going. What else? The Skin Love. I have a full-size version of this, so I don't need this opened uh, sample. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Line Bur Blur Factor from Strivectin. I'm not going to use that. It's heavily silicone-based. Well, let's just throw things. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, the Luma Layer... Primer from VDL is another one of those, kind of like a, the MAC strobe cream. Yeah, you see that like purple hue? I don't need, I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of this um, No Problem Prime Essence. I don't even know what this is supposed to do, but it, I never saw any results with it, so that's going. The Milani Prime for Perfection. Again, it's hydrating. That's going. Prep and Prime Skin Base. I feel like this feels really silicone based. Why do I do that stupid stuff? Good God. Ew. Actually, when I smoothed it out of my skin, it doesn't feel like greasy or anything. It just feels really smoothing. So I'm going to keep that one. Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer. Mm, I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1, but I already bought, like, the travel size of the Step 1. So I'm going to get rid of this little mini because I've had it for quite a while and it's been open for quite a while. Should I stop there? It's quite a bit, right? Yeah, let's stop there for now. A lot of those aren't even opened. All right, let's move our way down to the concealer and odds and ends drawer. This is overwhelming. A, a lot needs to go from here. Okay, first and foremost... I bought this one from Walgreens, I don't even know, like a month ago, and it looks like I've had it for months, right? Like, look how much looks like it's gone. I've used it once. One time, and I didn't like it, so that's going. Oh, jeez. 
this um this quick fix concealer i think this is from dermablend yeah it is uh i don't think i ever even used this i bought it not really sure why i mean should i keep it no decisions decisions no not gonna use it it's going I'm going to have to, like, move some of this aside here. Ew, this stuff here. Why do I still have this garbage? Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I never cared for that. Never liked it. The Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer. Nope, that's going. The Glamouflage. I bought this because I, I think I read, like, an article about it. Like, look, that looks pretty gross. Ew. It's old for one. Sorry, my camera's like freaking out. It's old, which is why it looks like it's separating and stuff. Because cause it is. But I think I read an article on this, how this was like an amazing full coverage concealer, blah, blah, blah. Never even used it. Bought it at Walmart and then it just sat in my drawer. Because I'm so smart. Here's another one. The Koki Be Bright. It's just way too yellow for me. Trying to do this with one hand, y'all. This this takes some skill. Yeah. Um, never used this one either. But it's it's old. So, that's going. I'm just tired of hanging on to stuff just to say that I have it. That it's pointless. This one's not a good shade match either. Very yellow toned. It's just not a good tone for me. Like, look at that. It's the same color as the bottle. You Nope. I'm good. Okay, what else? A lot of these I really enjoy. Or, or I can at least make work. Aha. You have got to go, Colourpop. You're old and crusty. Crusted and busted. Gross. That's going. What is that? Lancome Mecca Complete. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Milani Conceal and Perfect. Never liked you. Nope. I don't, I don't care for you. It's very drying. This was supposed to be, well, this is what I thought was a dupe for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. The Hydrate, what is it? Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. Come on, camera, get with the program. Um, I haven't really given this one enough chance, so I'm gonna, I'll keep it for now. It lives to see another day. Ooh, my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I actually really like this, but it's really old. Actually, it's like greasy on the outside. Ugh, that's gotta go. Like, super old. All right, we're making some progress, y'all. This is very yellow, too, but it's, it's double wear and it's expensive, so we're gonna keep it. And we got some Giorgio Armani. Oh, we got more ColourPop back here. These are definitely going. I know there was quite a few people that really liked the No Filter Concealer. I, actually, that's not one. Hold on. There it is. I never really cared for it. I tried, like, you can see how much I used out of this one. I tried to love it. I did. It just didn't love me back. Bought several shades, the white one and then these two. And, yeah, I'm not a fan. It's very drying on me. What else we got down here? What are you? Mm. The Morphe Concealer. I feel like this is good for brightening, but it's pretty drying. I haven't used it all that much, though, so I'm going to hang on to that for now. So that's the lineup of concealers that are taking a hike today. I know, I'm not like ruthless decluttering, okay? I like my stuff. I like having variety. I cannot help it. Don't be mad at me. Okay, let's go to this side. I have the AOA Perfect BB Cream. I think I used it one time for my Shop Miss A video, and I haven't used it since, so that can go. What else? That's staying. This is such a hodgepodge. Let's, let's kind of like shift over here. Um, the light, I don't know how to, how you pronounce that, but I got this in a birch box a long time ago. Never used it. That's going to go. I bought this on sale from Lorac. I got, I think I got this from Kohl's a long time ago. Never used it. I think it's, um, 
I think it's supposed to be like a concealer pen. Like it's yellow. Mm, that's not a good tone. That's got to go. Why do I keep some of these things? Y'all, I'm going to have to turn on my AC, so you're going to hear a hum, and I truly apologize, but I'm sweating in here. All right, what else we got? We have the Yenza BC Foundation, Full Coverage Foundation. No, oh, that's going to go. I just, I have to stop holding on to the idea that I'm going to use it someday, because I, I'm not. <laughs> the YSL All Hours Foundation. I actually bought samples from YSL a long time ago. I think you could get like two of these for 20 bucks, but there's a lot in this little container. I'm just not going to use it. I'm going to get rid of it. Where's the other one at? There's another one in there somewhere, I think. Oh my God, how far back does this drawer go? Holy cow. Okay. Maybe we'll come across it here in a bit. Okay. Smashbox. Actually, I'm going to keep that one. I just bought that one. Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This one's okay. I have the full size. Is this one even open? Tis not. It's not even open. And I don't see like a, a use-by date on here. I have the full size of this. Uh, you know what? Just get rid of it, Michelle. Jeez Louise. Oh, <laughs> I bought one and I already had them. I'm so, whoops. I'm so smart, guys. Look. Well, this one's not my shade anyway, so it's going. Marcel City Tinted Cream. That can go. That's way too deep for me anyway. Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. That's going. I feel like I have a full-size version that a friend of mine gave to me. Look at the little line up here. Lots of samples going. I love these LA Girl pigments, by the way. You can really help your foundation if it's too deep, uh, too cool tone, too warm tones. You can mix in these or whatever combination of those and they're really helpful. Okay, this is, what are, what are you? From Pure, Quick Draw 4-in-1 Precision Concealer Pencil. I'm not gonna, when am I gonna use that? I feel like I bought this to like go underneath my brow with or something, like that would make sense to me. But I, I know I'm not going to use it, so that can go. Man, the stuff that I wasted money on. Oh, come back. This one is from NYX. The Wonder Pencil. A peach-colored pencil. Again, I think this is supposed to be like a concealer pencil. Am I going to use you? Eh, it's hard to do with one hand. I'm not coordinated with my left hand. The struggle. I'm going to keep that one for now. You know what? Tired of just throwing stuff away. Danessa Myrick's Vision Cream Cover. I had another one of these over there. Let's toss that over there. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I don't remember being a huge fan of this one. And I've got like three of them? Jeez. These are way too yellow. These two are, for sure. This one... I'm pretty sure this one's open. Ow, I just stabbed myself with it. Yep. Let's get rid of it. This feels good, guys. This is from Ulta Beauty, and it's one of their color correcting face sticks to combat redness, but it's kind of like greasy. That's going. There you are. There's the other YSL All Hours Foundation samples. Trash. I actually really like this stuff from Herborian. It's their BB cream, and it really does make your skin just look healthy and supple, kind of dewy. But I really do like it um, for days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and I don't really care if I look like a, a sweaty, greasy mess. Yeah. And then I have this little, another concealer pencil from Hard Candy's Glamouflage. That's trash. Like, I just made a lot of room in here. Holy Moses. I bought this little Marc Jacobs concealer at TJ Maxx like a year ago. I got all excited because I think I paid like 10 bucks for it and I don't like it. <laughs> I think I used it twice and I just, I'm not impressed, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm tired of hanging on to stuff just to hang on to it. I have a little sample of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Did I even use this one? I did. I have a whole bottle of it. I'm going to get rid of that. This is from Lock Color. What does that say? Good foundation. Oh, they tried to mix BB and found Stop. How come I never noticed that? That's a bit crunchy. Yep, that's gonna go. Okay, I'm running out of room here. I, I need to uh, I need to make room. 
Like this is what I have so far. And I've only I've only gone through two drawers. There's a lot in there. Aha, I did have a full size version of that. Another Smashbox. Why'd I buy one when I already had a little sample? That was stupid. I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's been it's been in here for quite a while. This Clinique Even Better Glow. Uh yeah, that's been in here for a long time. That's trash. Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer. Mm, we'll keep that one for now. What's back here? Oh man, I hated this. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation Stick. That's going. Not a fan. The NYX BB uh, Cream. Again, not a favorite product of mine. And I bought these because I thought they would be helpful to be like mixers. One of them is white. This one. But again, I have the LA Girl foundation mixer that's white so I don't need both and this one I like much more than the NYX one. The NYX one's very runny. This one, um, the LA Girl one, you only need like a little tiny drop because it's actual pigment. This one just feels like it's more runny so I'm gonna get rid of the NYX one. And then this one is opalescent so it's got that like weird sheen to it. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm just not gonna use it. Oh god why do I still have you? I had actually done a foundation review of this literally probably like four months after I first started my channel and I hated this. I'm gonna trash it. Y'all, I might not have any makeup left by the time I get done. Holy cow. This is the Sephora Bright Future Skin Tint. I don't remember what I thought about this, so that's gonna live to see another day. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear. I actually have the full size of that, so that can go. I bought Dermacol because I heard that like this was the one that was so full coverage and you know made everybody shit. It was all hyped up there for a while and I, I never used it. Never used it, not even once. So I have to at least use it one time before I get rid of it. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I actually have the full size of that, so that can go. Forever Skin Correct. I feel like this is way too deep for my skin tone. Dior runs a little bit like orange. Even with their Air Flash, which is what I'm wearing today, it's very deep for like being the lightest shade, and it comes off as like Oompa Loompa Orange, so I just trashed that one. Look how much more room I have in here. Oh my god, I threw away almost everything. That is a bit liberating, I must say. I can actually see what's going on in here now. It's kind of nice. What is this? The Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear. I have a full size. I don't, I don't need that. Y'all know that my Becca ain't going nowhere. The Kevin Aquan, what is this? The Etherealist, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. I don't use it that much, but it's really spency, so I'm not going to get rid of it. And that's that. Holy cow. Look how, how much better that looks. That's exciting. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's move it down to the powder drawer. Yep, there's definitely some stuff in here that needs to go. Okay, where do I want what do I want to do here? So, I bought this, holy Moses, something spilled. I bought this Kevin Aquan powder at TJ Maxx quite a while ago. And I bought it cuz it's Kevin Aquan and you know, get excited when you see luxury brand names um, at TJ Maxx on a deep discount. But I've never used it. And I, I don't think it's anything that's exactly, like, real special. So, it's time. It's time for it to go. I've, I've probably had it for at least a year, if not two. The fact that I've never used it is ridiculous. So, bye-bye. I like my Laura Mercier, my number seven. My Halo Glow from e.l.f. I love all these. What is this? God, what spilled? Here's one. This is the Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. It's supposed to be a, um, a bronzer. Like, who the hell is this a bronzer for? Even Casper couldn't use this as a bronzer. I mean, seriously? No freaking way. Now, the only reason why I kept this is because I heard different YouTubers talking about using this as, like, a setting powder. It is super smoothing, like very, very smooth. You know what? It kind of makes me want to keep it. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to. When I first got it from Ulta, like a long, long time ago, it was busted, okay? 
and that's why it looks like it does because I had to push it back in the pan and you know do it with alcohol and, and all that the whole nine yards but I don't ever use it so it's going I do like the makeup forever what is this one they're like matte velvet skin blah 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 it's in about a million pieces yeah and I have used it a bunch so <laughs> that's so sad I'm actually gonna keep it I know I should just trash it that's probably what you see all over my, my drawer here this YC collection powder I got as a sample from Ipsy I believe it's just nothing like overly special I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this this little thing pissed me off when I got it it says it's a lid and liner primer so what would that make you think if you if you saw on Sephora a lid and liner primer and it kind of reminded you of Matt the Mac pro paint pot that's what it looked like but no this is a powder like it did not look like a powder on the website I thought that it was a a cream base it's not it's it's basically just a um a tinted setting powder that's all I mean it's really soft nope I know I'm not gonna use it there's literally no sense of me keeping that okay what else my Pat McGrath powder that shattered into a million little bits. One of these is too deep for me. That's fair. I think it's this one. Fairly light. I'm going to get rid of fairly light because it's a little bit too deep for me. And I don't ever use it anyway. We'll hang on to the other shade. Just in case I get a wild hair. What is all this then? Mineral Veil... Derma blend setting powder, another mineral veil. So I have a full size and a little travel size. Let me, I'm gonna get rid of the little travel size. What else we got here? Jouer. Well, I bought this because uh, it was on sale. Why? Why? I don't need this. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I think it's supposed to be like a regular powder and then a bronzer. Or a contour I I'm never gonna use this you know what I just uh, pulled that out of there I I it's not supposed to be okay I thought it was magnetic and the pans magnetic this is uh, um, this is not it had little glue dots on the bottom but it gave me like a light bulb moment I think what I might do I know this is me being crazy I think I might put like little magnetic pans right here and then when I'm out and about if I Look, there's many times where I wear, wear special shadows out and about, and I can't take them with me to touch up, because I can't carry around a big old empty palette with me, but I could carry around something like this. This is really tiny. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to repurpose it. Huh. Okay, moving along. <laughs> okay, this next thing I've had for a long time. This is from Smashbox, and this is their Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder. It's very deep for my skin tone like uh, I'm not really sure who I thought I was getting this but I don't use it I've never really used it it's going this feels really good getting rid of all this crap I've been wanting to for a long time and I held off because I kept telling myself well, I need to do a declutter I don't want to get rid of it yet I need to do a declutter now it's going this is the pure pressed mineral makeup I just don't need it I'm gonna get rid of it what else we got the rest of the stuff up here I really like so I'm not gonna get rid of it all right I need to get to the stuff in the back that's gonna be the stuff I don't use this is the Becca Hydra mist set and refresh look I got this in a boxy charm I believe and you know it was really cool at first because it was cool when it touched your skin it almost felt wet but it lost that effect and it's just not cool anymore and I don't use it so I'm gonna get rid of it next up is the AOA perfect setting powder this is like their banana powder I used it for my shop miss a video and then never used it again so I'm gonna trash it the Maybelline master fix um I haven't used this in a long time and I can't remember what I thought about it so I'm gonna hang on to that the Maybelline fit me that's actually a really good setting powder so we're gonna keep that I'm making some good progress today like I'm so proud of myself y'all can't tell me nothing today okay the Becca soft light blurring powder do you guys see the tone of this one 
It's orange. Nope, I'm good. The Gigi Gorgeous Burnt Touch-Up Powder. Are you kidding me? It's just a translucent, like, touch-up powder. It feels pretty smooth. Honestly, I don't even know if I've used this yet, so I'm going to hang on to it for right now. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder, and I actually really like this. It is so smoothing. That's not going anywhere. It's like a, a powder foundation. Oh, wow. The Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Powder. Y'all, this is old, and I'm pretty sure it's probably expired. I know it's seen better days. I used to use this a lot back in the day. Ew, yeah, like the top of the powder feels gritty. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. That's kind of gross. You know what? I've been waiting this moment to get rid of this. I bought this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. Like they couldn't squeeze just one more word on there. Um, I bought this probably a year and a half ago. Or at least a year ago. And this is one of the worst powders I think I have ever had the displeasure of trying. Oh shit, where'd you go? Come on now. Don't be hiding from mama. It's awful. Okay, it oxidizes my foundation. And even when I wear it alone, it just looks, it's not, it's not good. It's heavy. It's not a good tone. Like, look at that. No, ma'am. It's not good. This one is in the shade Light. Light my ass. Why does it cosmetics have such a hard time with lighter, like, foundations? Even their, like, light CC cream is too dark. And I'm really not that, that, you know, I'm really not that light. This is just not good. Bye-bye. What else we got? The NYX HD Finishing Powder. Pretty sure this is another one that I had to repress in the pan because it came busted. Oh, yeah. I don't ever use this. I feel like this is going to be, like, one of those situations where I'm going to have major flashback. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't use it anyway. And then we have the NYX Blotting Powder. Come on. Can't escape me. I can't remember what I thought about this. It's been such a long time since I've used it. And even then, I didn't use it that much. I mean, it just feels like, ew, it's kind of gritty. Nope, I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of it. God, y'all, this is almost halfway full already. There is a lot of stuff in here. Holy cow. I can't get over it. I didn't think I was going to go this ham, but it, it had to be done. This is a little sample of the MAC Studio Fix Powder. Like, when I say sample, I mean sample. Look at that tiny little pan. Isn't she cute? Again, not the right tone. It's very yellow. I'm just going to get rid of it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wowzers. Okie dokie then. I got rid of quite a bit. I'm proud of myself. What's back there? Anyway, what is that? My Nakia Joy Powder. That's not going anywhere. And then Cody Airspun. You know what? I bought this because everybody raved about it. And it's not awful, but I don't ever use this stuff. Like, ever. Do I want to get rid of this? It's got that, like, nostalgic smell to it. I, I need to keep it. I'm sorry. It needs to stay for now. Y'all, this is making me excited. I've gotten rid of a lot. I can't get over how much so far. This is my crazy bronzer drawer. Like, it's gotten out of control. And it's funny because I used to talk about how I didn't have a lot of bronzers. And then all of a sudden, it looks like I have more weight, just uh, too many. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of a whole lot in here. But I am going to get rid of a few. So, the first thing that I want to grab is this bronzer from Nomad. I just don't really care for it. It's not the right tone for my skin. It's very orangey, as you can see. So, Nomad, bye-bye. Um, I love the Tarte Sea Breezy Bronze, or whatever the hell it's called. The Tower 28 Bronzer is amazing. The um, Tan Tour is really good. The, the Fenty Cream Bronzer is amazing. I just bought this one, so I'm not going to declutter it yet, but I'm not that big of a fan. Here we go. The Pure Bronzer. This one is in... Uh, Mineral Glow. That's what it's called. Anyway, it's not the right tone for me. I'm sure you could tell by looking at it. It's just very... I don't know. It's just not the right tone. So let's go on bye-byes. This freaking contour is purple. Y'all see that? 
purple. Let me, you know what? Let me just compare that next to a bronzer so you so you can get the full picture here. That mug is purple. <laughs> Look. It's crazy. Anyway, I just bought it, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to force myself to use this at least a little bit. But yeah, I am not a fan of that one at all. Not the right tone. Here we go. This is from ColourPop, and it's one of their no filter stick, con uh, not concealer, their foundation. And it's in the shade Dark 175W. And I bought it because I was going to make it a contour or a bronzer. And it is not. Ew. What's that? See little holes? Gross. It's not the right shade. Actually, when I twist it up, it's going to turn real orange. Ew, look at that. I only say ew because I, this would never work on my skin tone, ever. It's very orange. It's like pumpkin pie. Nope. That's going to go immediately. What are you doing, sir? Can I help you? What are you doing? You been rotten? You been rotten? What are you doing? He is the most rotten kitten in the world. He the most rotten kitty. What? What, oh, honey? What's she doing? Do you mean rotten? Okay, fine. On your terms, huh? Okay, I tried. See, Jamine, Jamine, mommy, why? You rotten boy. Him's a rotten man. What, baby? What is it? Don't let him fool ya. Don't let him fool ya. My furry little monster. He's my furry boy. My furry little man. Okay, back to the bronzers. Next up. Okay, here we go. This is from Milani, and it is their contour and highlight wand, or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's not awful. Like, this shade is really not terrible, if I can get it to roll up, as a, like a contour shade. But I don't ever use it, so there's really no sense in me keeping it. I'm going to get rid of it. What else can we get rid of? Here we go. This one is from Maybelline. Yeah, this was the first contour stick I ever bought. And it's from Maybelline. When I first really started getting into makeup, like four years ago, something like that, I bought this. And I used it. I rocked it. Um, but I, I can't. Like, I just can't. Like, how did I, how did I put this on without getting the yellow on me? It's very, like emollient, very greasy almost. Actually, you can kind of see it. Uh, it's just not my jam anymore, so I'm going to get rid of this. Here is another of one of those types of products, but this one's from AOA Studios. Same thing. I bought it a while ago, used it for that video, for my Shop Miss A video, and I haven't used it. Well, if I did use it since, it was like one time, so that's going to go. We're making some room. Okay, what else? These are staying... Most of the stuff, like, on this side here is stuff that I really love. This one is a little iffy because it's a little orange, but I'm not quite done with it yet. The Believe Beauty Bronzer. Have I even used this a whole lot? You know what? I need to get some use out of that. That doesn't look like a bad tone. Kylie, I like that one. I like the Bare Minerals. The CYO Bronzer. This is one that I do not care for. This one is like very light orangey. <laughs> A little bit too orange for my liking. It's very soft. Like super silky feeling. But look at that. That's not exactly the tone of bronzer that I'm looking for. So that's going. I'm so proud of myself. What else we got back here? Oh, uh, we got my contour stuff. So, back here, I've got my ABH contour stick, which I love. My Vanity Makeup um, contour palette. I've shown you guys this a million times. I love this thing for the contour shade because it's perfect. So, that's not going anywhere. My Jouer. Um, is this contour? Bronzer? What is this? I forget. 
It's a bronzer duo. How did I forget about this? I don't ever use this. I should have put that in my stop by my shop mustache. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. I just am reminded that I need to use it. Let me pull it up here. What else is like lurking back here? You. You. Um, I hate this with a bloody passion. Look how pumpkin pie this looks. Guys, it's orange and it's so expensive. This was before they reformulated. And it's just not, I'm just, it's just not a, I'm not a fan. It's not a good tone, but it's also very expensive. I think this mug was like $60. Something around that ballpark. So guess what? I'm going to be hard-headed and I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Yup. You never know if I need to do a video with like products I hate or overrated products. There you go. I got one for you. What else is back here? This one is from Nude Sticks. It is their Bondi Bay. I actually don't hate this one. Um, that one is the Marc Jacobs Tantric. Not my favorite tone. Again, it's got that orangey tone to it. I just don't understand why. Why does anybody want to be orange? Um, but again, it's not a cheap bronzer, so we're going to keep her. There we go. I had to rearrange it a little bit better to fit everything back in there. I love my Hollywood contour wand. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, what else did I have back there? You know what's awful funny is the more expensive bronzers are the ones that I don't like. Except for the Charlotte. Charlotte, I love. I'll talk about you, Charlotte. I'm sorry. Okay, what else do we have over here? We have a bunch of face palettes. Um, I love these. Not going anywhere. Oh, this Charlotte bronzer, I'm not the biggest fan. But again, it's Spincy. Not going anywhere. Oh, here we go. I love the True Match um, Lumi Bronze It Bronzer from L'Oreal. It's so beautiful. But the one behind it, another Wet n Wild bronzer that can go. This one is Ticket to Brazil and it's orange. So that's going to conclude my bronzer declutter. I know I didn't get rid of that much. A little bit. Um, but you know, I like everything else. I'm not going to get rid of stuff just for the sake of getting rid of it. This is probably going to be the hardest drawer to declutter because I love me some blush. Like I am a blush freak. Y'all, this is going to be difficult because I don't really know that I want to get rid of a whole lot in here. Like at all. I'm definitely not getting rid of any of my MAC Glow Play blushes or my Melt blushes. Oh my god, this is going to be tough. This Ofra blush. I thought that this was going to be a horrible blush. It's not. It's actually really pretty. These little samples. I don't mind. Y'all, I might not get rid of any blush. Y'all gonna be mad at me? I can't help it. I love it so much. I would like to get rid of enough just to be able to fit everything in here. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard to do. I'll tell you what. I actually don't ever use this Milani blush. As pretty as it is, this one's in T-Rose. Um, as pretty as it is, I never use it. Oh, I just swatched it. Now I'm second guessing. Nope, it's gotta stay. I don't think I can do it. Blush is probably... Besides eyeshadow, blush is probably my favorite um, makeup product. I can't even help it. They're so beautiful. I love having vibrant cheeks. What is this? From Complex Culture? Yeah, this is an Ipsy brand, and I got it from Ipsy, and I haven't used it yet. Look at that pretty peachy blush. Like, even she's pretty. Nope. Can't do it. Haven't even tried it. Guys, I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to, to declutter anything out of here. Actually, this one from Space Case, this one reminds me of like a Super Shock shadow or a Super Shock cheek, but it's really emollient to the point of being almost greasy. I'm going to get rid of this one. I got it in an Ipsy bag, I believe. Look, I decluttered my first blush. I'm so proud of myself. What else? This little tiny sample from Peak. It's supposed to be like... I can get it to work here. Like you slide it up. Come on, damn it. There we go. It kind of reminds me of like the NARS orgasm blush with the tone, with that pink and then orange flip. But am I ever going to use it? It's very emollient. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> See, this is the problem that I have. You know what? I've had this for probably 
three years and I haven't used it yet, so let's get rid of this one. Sad to see it go, it's cute. Look at all this stuff. Wow. Okay. I'm like just getting rid of samples here. I need I need to get real. But I love all these. I haven't even used this one from Kosas. They're they're duos. This one is in Eighth Muse. All I've done is swirl my fingers in it. It's got a cream blush and a cream highlight. It's just super emollient, like almost too emollient. But I at least want to try it before I get rid of it. If I'm going to get rid of it. What else is in there? I usually shove the stuff that I don't wear enough in the back. Mic drop. This one's really bright. Oh my god, I can't get to all that stuff. Nope, I think that's going to be it, guys. I'm not going to declutter any more of my blushes. I can't help it. I love them too much. It makes me sad to see them go. And I can pull off just about, well, not to say it like I'm cocky, but I can make just about any blush shade work with the right eye look. You really can play around with it, have it toned down, really play it up. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to declutter just for the sake of decluttering. Not doing that. We do have to figure out something though, because I'm like, I have no room in here now. She done ran out of room in her blush drawer. Look at that. So that wraps up this entire side besides my eyeshadow. I haven't done that yet. I still have to do that mess. I've got to do all of this with my lipsticks. I've got to do that, that, and then this entire set over here, as well as my eyeshadow palettes.